Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to convert a fractional number into binary number using a standard scientific calculator. So before I begin, let's first understand some basic prerequisites required for this video. First one is the number system and the second one is shifting of decimal point in a number. So these are some of the most commonly used number systems. The first one is a decimal number system. It contains digits from 0 to 9. So there are totally 10 digits available to represent a number. The next one is binary. It contains only two digits that is 0 and 1. And all numbers in this number system are represented only using zeros and ones. And next number system is octal. In octal number systems, there are totally 8 digits available. These are from 0 to 7. And next one is hexadecimal. So in hexadecimal number system, there are totally 16 digits available to represent a given number. This varies from 0 to 9 and it contains alphabets from A to F. That is A, B, C, D, E and F. So let's now learn how to shift a decimal point. So first let's try to shift a decimal point towards left. So let's consider a number 1542. So to shift this number, the decimal point of this number towards left by two dig digits, so we divide it by 100. So what you are doing here is, you are dividing it by 10 power 2. So this becomes 15.4. So basically, if there is a number to the base n and to shift this number's decimal point towards left, you will divide it by the base n to the power of number of decimal points to be shifted. So let's consider binary number. Let be 110.110. To shift this binary number, the, the decimal point of this binary number by two places towards the left, you divide it by the base that is 2 to the power of number of places to be shifted. So that's 2. So this becomes 1.10110. So similarly, let's try to do it for an hexadecimal number system. A, B, point C, D. So if you want to shift the decimal point towards left by two digits, we divide it by 16 part 2. So that's 0 point A, B, C, D. Now let's learn how to shift the decimal point towards right. So now let's consider the same number. That is 15.42 and you want to shift the decimal point towards right by two decimal places. So you multiplying it by 100 that is equal to multiplying it by 10 power 2 which is equal to 1542 that is 1542. So basically what you are doing is you are taking a number and to shift the decimal point towards right by required number of decimal places you are multiplying it by n power number of places decimal places to be shifted so now let's consider a binary number
so you want to shift the decimal place towards right by three decimal places. So you're multiplying it by bar three. So this becomes one one zero one zero point one. So now let's consider the hexadecimal. Want to shift the decimal places towards right by two digits. So you multiply it by 16 part B. So that is equal to C7 D E point three. So let's now convert a fractional number that is 72.43 in decimal number system into binary. So first we locate a conventional method. So in conventional method, we split the number into integral part and fractional part and convert it to binary individually. Okay, first let's look into integral part. So take the integral part that is 72 and divide it by 2. So 2 times 6 times. Next is the fractional part. So we take the fractional part that is 0.43, we multiply it by base that is 2, we get 0.86 and 0 carry. So we take this number 0.86 into 2, we get 0 0.7, we get 1.72, we take 1 as a carry. Take 0.72 into 2, we get 1.44. We take 1 as carry and write 0.44. So, next to multiply 0.44 into 2, we get 0.88. 0 carry. So, next is to multiply 0 0.88 with 2, we get. 0 0.1.76 so 1 has carry write 0.76 into 2 we get 1.52 1 has carry so this by doing this you get the approximated uh, value to be of 6 decimal places so let's write it from top to bottom 0 1 1 0 1 1 so lastly we combine these two we get 1 0 1 0 0 0 point 0 1 1 0 1 1 base 2 so this is a binary equivalent of the number 72.43 in decimal so as this is just an approximate, so this may not be exactly equal to 72.43, so this will approximate to 72.42 almost. So let's now convert a decimal number into binary using calculator. For this you go to more, press more, press to base in, enter the number decimal number press binary so it gets converted within a fraction of a second so this is good until there is no decimal point in your number so this becomes difficult if there is a decimal number because the calculator doesn't accept a decimal number 
So to overcome this, we use the trick of shifting of decimal places. So in this method, you take the number that is 72.43 base 10 and you multiply it and divide it by 2 power 6 as it the value of the number doesn't change when you multiply and divide by the same number so first let's calculate the numerator so 72.43 into 2 power 6 so we get 4635.52 so let's neglect the decimal point the decimal digits let's write seven sorry four six three five base ten divided by two power six now let's convert the numerator into binary number go to more base n enter the number that is four six three five then convert it to binary so you get one zero zero one followed by four zeros double one zero double one base two divided by two power six as I told you the number which is in the base two and it's gets divided by two power six it is just like shifting the places uh, by six decimal places towards left. So this becomes one zero zero one followed by three zeros point zero one one zero one one base two. So as you can see, this is the same as the one which we got the conventional method so this approximates to 72.4 so this saves a lot of time during exams as well as uh, in lengthy calculations so now let's see if the reverse is possible that is to convert a binary number into decimal number so first take the binary number so I'm taking the same number as an example base 2 and you multiply it by 2 power 6 and divide by 2 power 6 so if you multiply by 2 power 6 the, the number which is in the base 2 if it gets multiplied by 2 power 6 that is base power 6 so decimal number just shifts towards right by 6 decimal places so this becomes 1 0 0 1 followed by 3 zeros 0 double 1 0 double 1 divided by 2 power 6 by the way this is in base 2 so let's convert the numerator into decimal go to more base n binary and enter the number that is 1 0 0 1 followed by 4 zeros double 1 0 double 1 and then convert it to decimal so we get 4635 4635 in decimal divided by 2 power 6 so this is the, like a normal division so divide it by 2 power 6 so we get 72 0.42 which was our original number so now let's apply the same method to convert a decimal number into a hexadecimal number so let's take an example of 171.777 in decimal 
and we we'll like to convert it into hexadecimal number system uh, and accuracy must be up to two decimal places so first write the number we multiply and divide by 16 square that is 16 power of the accuracy so let's calculate the numerator part 1 7 1 point seven 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 into 16 square so we get 4 3 7 439.74.91 so let's round off to 43975 in place 10 divided by 16 square so let's convert the decimal number into hexadecimal enter the decimal number So that's A B C seven in hexadecimal divided by sixteen square. So this is same as shifting the decimal point towards left by two places because it is dividing by the base to the power of two. So this is equal to A B point C sub. So this is an hexadecimal equivalent of the number 171.777 and the accuracy is up to two decimal places. So to get better accuracy, you can multiply and divide by a higher power number. So for example, you can multiply and divide by 2 power 7 or 2 power 8. If you multiply and divide by 2 power 8, you get a better accurate value that is value uh, to the precision of 8 decimal places. So if you want 9, like the 9 decimal places, you can multiply and divide by 2 power 9. This method is quite easy and useful especially for the engineering students during their examination. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this tutorial.